Okay, so basically this is a tutorial on how to make uh, things basically break apart rather than with that uh, modifier that they had of explode where basically the faces just fly off. I thought that looked really stupid and was pretty useless. So we just have the default cube here. Um, I sort of have mirror automatically on so I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so just completely ordinary cube. Um, just to make it sort of like a pillar for a movie or something, I'm just going to scale it on the Z. Just put it up like that. Move it up a bit. Okay, alright, that's fine. Nothing else needs to be done to that. So I'm now going to go top view and create a plane. Now scale it up, and it's important that it's bigger than the thing that you're going to try and cut into. Alright, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go up to materials, add new. It doesn't have to be done this way, just any way that will make this jagged or bumpy or however you want it basically so I'm just going to add a new texture uh, clouds will do me alright I go here I can press I go into edit mode then I press this button here called noise oh wait sorry I have to subdivide it first subdivide it yeah that's probably good enough for the purposes of this obviously the more you subdivide it the better the quality then I'm just going to press noise until I get it about I don't know, nice, this will do me. do for me. Okay, so I can go out of edit mode. Now I'm just going to put this however I want. I'm just going to rotate around. Like, yeah, that that's good. Okay, right. So now I'm going to select the cube. Then this. Press W. And then choose difference. Remember the cube and then the thing that you're going to cut it with. Okay. Alright, now this has actually made this for me. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so now I need to, obviously that's only made one side, and this is still the full thing. So I'm going to select this again, go into edit mode, go down here to flip normal. Okay, we press that, go out of edit mode, choose this cube again, like this is the complete cube. Then choose this, and W, and then difference again. Okay, so I'm only going to be putting one cut, but you can do exactly the same. You just move this, or you could even have duplicated them, like this. Whatever you want, just do it in exactly the same way. You can break it apart as many times as you like, although it might slow your computer a bit. So I'm just going to erase these, because I don't need them anymore. Okay, so now I have the two pieces, but obviously there's actually still a duplicated one there, so I just keep selecting until I get that. Delete. Right, now I have a seamless thing here. There's absolutely no seam there. You could not tell. But it breaks apart. And these fit together perfectly. So if I put set smooth there. Oh actually no that doesn't look nice. But anyway. Doesn't matter. If I had um put the uh, smooth on when I was the thing I was cutting with then these would be a lot nicer and not as jagged. But anyway that doesn't make any difference for the purpose of this tutorial. Anyway, you can see that they break apart. And you can cut it as many times as you like. Now, obviously, this is basically for explosions or if you want something to shatter or so on. But, um, yeah, I thought I think it's pretty useful. But I was looking for ages to find out how to do that. No one could ever show a tutorial on it. So, like usual, I just had to come up with my own way. Alright, so I'll delete this. I'll show you one other interesting thing I found when I was trying to figure that out how to do that. If I add a monkey, that's a good way. You could use this technique for if you want to put a crack in a skull or something. Anything you want like that. But anyway, you get the, th the thing. Now it has to be low poly and then it has to have a subsurf added to it. Otherwise it won't really work. You can then apply the subsurf after or whatever you want. But it has to have the modifier of a subsurf. Okay, so there's the monkey. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the plane again. I shouldn't have really deleted it earlier, but who cares? I'll just give it the same material. And go into edit mode, subdivide it several times. Noise. Set smooth. Okay, that's nice. Alright, um I don't want to crack through the entire thing, but I'll just put one say there. I'm doing this pretty fast, but you could do it an awful lot nicer. Then, I'm sure you've gotten this by now, but W difference. 
could take a little while to load because that's quite high poly. Okay, and then choose this again, flip the normal, choose the other piece of this thing, let's just see, it's this one, then select this again, W, difference. The reason we're flipping the normal is because when it cuts it, it only cuts one part of it, and li and it makes it a duplicate. So, but obviously we want two halves to it, so that it can split apart. Okay, I'm done with this now. Right, now if I can just get rid of the... Here we go, the original. As you can see, we have a nice little crack in that there. Now, there's some mistakes there, obviously, but if you were to go and actually check the mesh where you should cut it, then it would work out an awful lot nicer. It's just because I didn't really pay any attention to it. But yeah, basically, there's a nice crack in it there. Like, let's say you wanted a uh, skull with a nice crack in it, but you didn't want to model every single part of it. It's a much faster way of doing it. And as a plus point, you can break it apart. But that's not what we're going for here. Anyway, I hope that's been uh, useful. Anyway, uh, hi to all the guys at Nistic. Bye.